Well, the farmers versus the central government standoff continues. Just as a farmers group has now approached the Supreme Court, seeking the court's intervention, uh, asking them to direct the government to ensure their demands. But this is, there's a violent standoff that actually broke out in Haryana's Hisar. These are visuals coming in from Haryana of uh, the police using tear gas shells on farmers, heavy deployment of rapid action forces, paramilitary forces there and senior police officials. In fact, the farmers responded to the tear gas by pelting stones as well so that border standoff really continues. Mohammed Ghazali is now joining us live uh, from Chandigarh. So Ghazali, um, you know, fresh sort of violence there uh, in Haryana's Hisar. Yeah, two important things that several people are injured, vehicles are damaged, cops as well as farm, farmers who are protesting there or who were stopped by the Haryana police from marching towards Khanauri border are injured. The second important thing is this is the first kind of protest since the Feb 13 tractor march was proposed by the Punjab's Farmers Union or say SKM non-political and KMM, the Kisan Mazdoor uh, Morcha. The third important thing that this has happened in a region which is also facing internet suspension services, uh, uh, the su suspension of internet services for the last uh, say since 12th of Feb. So the reports are still trickling in as to what is act what is the ground situation there. Now what ag what exactly happened in that particular village in Hisar district is that farm union leaders, Khab panchayats and local farmers of Kheri Chopta village in Narnon subdivision of Hisar district had announced in advance that on 22nd or 3rd of Feb they will march towards Khanauri border. They had organized a meeting today uh, planning to move towards Khanauri border when police sort of came in there, the forces tried to stop them. What we are picking up from our sources is that police, some policemen tried to snatch keys of the tractors which were parked there some deflated the tires there. That is when the situation became tense. Then the police had to use tear gas shells to stop these protesters. They also resorted to stone pelting. In that stone pelting, cops are injured. In the tear gas shelling, farmers are injured. Many farmers have been detained. We can't say as of now whether they are arrested or not until the police issues a statement. The superintendent of police of Hisar district is present there, visited the village because this was happening in a village. Before marching towards Kanori border, there was a call that farmers should gather in that particular village in that open space. And that is when this is it started, this clash took place there when, mm -hmm. uh, when the police tried to stop them from marching towards Kanori border. Now, this is the first of a, a protest in Haryana since 13 Feb when uh, farmers from Punjab have been sitting near the Shambhu border because in Haryana uh, we saw what has happened in the last 24 to 48 hours that first the police said that we will be booking farm union leaders under NSA then they then they said no we won't then they said that the public uh, that, that this this uh, protest has the chances of damaging public property and we will recover it by uh, uh, freezing the assets and bank accounts of those who are participating in this protest so I'm Amid all this, the farmers from Haryana have not been allowed to protest. Haryana police is going to villages, uh, uh, pasting those notices, those warning signs to anyone uh, saying that you should not join these protests. And today for the first time when they forcefully tried to stop farmers in Hisar district from marching towards Khanori, then this happened. There okay. are also allegations that, fa that the police also damaged the tractors which were parked there. So as of now, right. tense situation there and we are yet to hear from the police that why all this happened. Right, Ghazali, thanks very much for joining us with that update.